Have you ever imagined a world where humans have unstoppable power or live forever? A world where we can improve or modify any living thing? Well, this is the world in which we are beginning to live in, because today, thanks to both genetic engineering and through the construction of cyborgs, we can shape our world almost like gods. The human genome was discovered in 1990. And thanks to this discovery, humans have made incredible progress in both the research and implementation of genetic procedures. To illustrate this, in the year 2000, a Brazilian artist named Eduardo Katz commissioned a group of French genetic scientists to mix fluorescent protein from jellyfish DNA with rabbit DNA. This resulted in the creation of a green fluorescent rabbit. Eduardo Katz gave him the name Alba, but the creation of Alba the rabbit wouldn't be possible without the interference of scientists, connecting two species of animals that live in completely different habitats. The natural selection process, which has taken place from the very beginning of time, has now been effectively replaced with the actions of scientists, creating new species through the manipulation of DNA. My personal opinion is that these actions could potentially have a detrimental effect on world evolution. Therefore, very careful thought must go into this process to protect the future generations from the consequences. Another way to use genome is to bring back extinct animals. Do you know the movie Jurassic Park? Imagine dinosaurs walking around our planet, sharing our habitats. <coughs> yes, this could now be possible, but not only with dinosaurs. Scientists have found mammoth DNA extracted from its frozen body in Siberia and are planning to take the egg cell of an elephant and replace its DNA with mammoth DNA. Next, the scientists plan to insert the egg cell back into the elephant's womb, resulting in a baby mammoth to be born within the next 22 months. But the advances in genetic research don't stop there. With genetic engineering, scientists can improve our immune system, extend our lives, improve our memory, and can even control the feelings we have towards our loved ones. A team of scientists from Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia, have managed to isolate a single gene from the prairie vole. This vole species is extremely loyal to a single partner, while its close cousin, the meadow vole, has multiple partners. The scientists were able to inject the single gene from the prairie vole into the meadow vole, and the results were startling. The meadow vole stopped dressing up and going out on town looking for multiple partners, and instead behaved like the prairie vole, spending his life with one partner. Another way to change the way we live is through the construction of cyborgs. They are beings made up of both organic and bio... Bo both organic and biomechatronic body parts, which include the use of biology, mechanics, and electronics. Basically, cyborgs are half humans, half robots. And it will surprise you, because in a certain way, most of us are partly cybernetic organisms. We have phones or computers to store data that we do not need to remember, whilst some have pacemakers to generate electrical impulses to regulate heartbeat. A good example of a man who could be called partly cyborg is Jesse Sullivan, who had his two hands replaced after an accident. These hands are mechanisms that have been engineered to be controlled by the mind. Electrical signals from his brain are sent to the hand and therefore do what the man compels them to do. In the future, scientists believe they will be able to send the electrical signal back to the brain, producing a hand that may even let the owner have a sense of feeling. Mm. To sum up, there are a whole host of advantages as well as disadvantages surrounding the issues I have raised so far. The advantages are clear. Humans have a head start in knowing what diseases they are likely to develop. We will be able to see a variety of exotic extinct species and reconnect with our past. We will be able to live longer and possibly worse could be averted if people have a gene implanted from an early age to make them less aggressive. Despite this, there are also obvious disadvantages. Because do we really have the right to bre break the laws of nature 
Implanting mechanisms into our bodies or changing our genes to become better would simply lead us not to being homo sapiens anymore. If anyone were to live longer, the world overpopulation crisis would become worse, resulting in food shortages and lack of resources for people as a whole. There would also be a division in the society, the people who would have the financial possibility to have their genes and body changed to become better, would simply take control over everybody else. My feeling is we need to strike a balance between the need for genetic research without disrupting the natural rhythms of our planet's evolution and not allowing that to get out of hand. This talk was inspired by an excellent book called Sapiens, written by Yuan Noah Harari. Thank you.